Today, let's fix your Facebook cover photo. Use the link in the description below to swipe my free template and you can follow along and add your headshot and your logo and your information using the free version of canva.com. Now this template solves that problem of cover photos sometimes cropping in an awkward place because you want to have a polished and professional look on your social media for your business. So follow along and let's get started. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and I'm the owner of Stephanie Lynn Design. All right, so let's get started. Look in the description below to find the link. Go ahead and click that link and this will open up the template that I've made for you over on canva.com. So when you do that, this is what your screen is gonna look like. And we're just gonna follow this and do this together, adding all of your information. So click the use template button. When you do that, it's going to either prompt you to log in. If you've already got an account, you'll put your email and your password in to log in. If you don't already have an account, that's okay. It's just going to prompt you to add your information and this will set you up with a free account. Everything that we're doing today, we're using the free versions. So go ahead and do that. And when you do, this is what, when you open it up, this is what your screen will look like. And so we're gonna do a little quick tour here just so you know where some things are. I'm here on the right hand side of your screen. This is your workspace where you're actually gonna be working on the projects today. On the left hand side of your screen, you have of course got your home button. Then going down, down this vertical menu, and the elements tab, this is our, anything that Canva is providing for you. The uploads tab, this is every file that you've added into your Canva account. For example, your headshot and your logo, this is where you're gonna add that. And to do that, you'll come up here to the top, click the purple upload files button. This will open a pop-up on your computer so you can navigate to where you have those files saved and you can add those and they will show up here. Just to make this video go as quick as I can for you today, I've already added those for you. Um, going on down the menu, if you click on text, this is where you've got, they've got some presets, you can add additional text. And then of course the projects tab, this is everything that you've created in Canva. So coming over here to the right hand side, I want you to look at the, your workspace. Now I'm actually giving you two versions of essentially the same template. Uh, the first version here on page one, and you're going to see that here in the center is where we're gonna be adding your information. And this is where you'll put your headshot, your name, your logo, and your contact info. Now, if you scroll down, there's also a page two option. And this just has a circular place uh, for your headshot. So you can decide which one you like better. I've also gone ahead and set this up with a white text so that you, if you want to change this background to more of a darker color, like a navy or a black or charcoal, this would be a good one. Now you can change all of these and I'm going to show you how to do that. So today let's go ahead and do a uh, page one with our example. Again, the first thing to really get in here is you need your headshot and your logo. So let's come back over here and click the uploads tab and click upload files and add those in. Okay. Once you've got those in, now we're going to be just, it's truly as simple as dragging and dropping because I have these set up as little holders. So let's use this lovely example and we're gonna drag and drop it in. Now, the way that this put in, because it's more of a vertical photo and I've got a square placeholder here, if you just click on the photo twice, now it's gonna give you the crosshairs and I can pull this down so that it's cropped the way I want it to be cropped and then click off of it, and there I've added the photo. If I want to enlarge it, again, I'm gonna double click it, and I can grab one of these corners and make this exactly the way I want it in the placeholder box. And then to change the text for your name, just click into the text box and you can change the name. Uh, for the logo, I always like to kind of point this out. Logos come in all different shapes and sizes, and so the placeholder here, I've just got it as a rectangle, frankly, because that's just the most common size. So let's grab a logo example. And we're going to pull it over till it's in the box where I want it and let go. Now you're going to see though, this logo is really more of a square. And so I know I'm going to need to do a quick adjustment. If I just hover down here and you see, I get these little handles. I can just drag that so that it's more of a square. And if I need to, I can reposition it and let go. All right, same thing for your phone number. Click into the phone number, type, add your phone number, 
click into the email, add your email, and click into the website and add your website. Now, if for any reason you don't want to put your website on here or you don't want to put one of these on here, it's really easy to do. You're just going to hover. You see the little trash can and I can delete that. Same thing. Click on it. It's going to outline in purple. Hit the trash can. I can delete it. Now, if you delete something and you're like, wait a minute, I don't actually want to delete that. How do I get it back? Here's a nice little trick. Come up here to the top left corner. Do you see this little back arrow? Otherwise known as undo or the oops button. Go ahead and click that. And it's going to take, for every time you click it, it's going to take one thing back. And so you're back to where you started. All right. Now, if you decide that you want to, I'm giving you these uh, just some free stock images that I have. I'm sharing with you. If you decide you want to change these stock images, again, maybe you want to showcase some photos of some properties that you've got listed or some products that you're selling, whatever the uh, kind of business that you have, you'll just add those photos here in the uploads tab as well. Grab one, drag it over and drop it in. Same thing. I can move it, adjust it if I need to pull some of these in. If you decide, you know what, wait a minute, I don't want that. Remember, you can always hit undo. And there we go. If, so you've got your headshot, your logo, all of your information. If you want to change your photos, you can add those. Now, the last thing is just this background color. So if I just hover into an open space where I have the background cover, and then here in the top left, you'll see a little color box and it actually pops up label background color. If you click on this, this will show you some different options. And what I like about Canva is it's going to show me the pictures that I have added to my project and maybe give me some hues that are in that. Or of course, you could always do black or white. But if you do black, again, you're going to need to change the color of your text. And so to do that, you would hover, just click it till you get the purple outline, come up here to the text color and you can change it. So very quickly and very simply, you can match this cover photo to all of your brand colors so that it matches and syncs with a new logo or preferred colors that you like to use. All right, so once you have it the way that you want it, it's all set up, you're ready. Now we need to get it out of Canva and onto your computer so that you can actually add it to your Facebook account. To do that, come up here to the top right corner and click share. And when you hit click share, now we need to tell uh, Canva, okay, how do we want to share this? Well, you just need to download it. So go ahead and click download. And then Canva just needs to know what kind of file type do you want to save this as. So this is going to be a digital file. You're going to save this and put this on Facebook. This is not something that you're going to be printing. So a PNG file type would be best. It's similar to a JPEG if you know what a JPEG is, but the PNG is just a higher resolution and it just looks so much better on digital, uh, anything electronic. So go ahead and select PNG. And then it's, it's going to say, do you want both pages or just one of them? Well, I only am doing the first page. I'm going to select page one and then done. And then I'm just going to hit this purple download button and it's going to save this file onto my computer. All right. So once I have this saved on my computer, then I can go over to Facebook and I'm going to suggest that you do this on your actual desktop. Log into Facebook and then add, you're going to hover in the bottom right corner of the cover photo section and it's going to give you an option to upload photo. So you'll upload this photo and then you're going to want to position it. Just grab it and position it, pull it down so that it looks like this and once you do that then it's going to be cropped correctly and then on your mobile version it's going to look like this all right so guys that is it um, real quick you can see you can put together a very professional and polished looking Facebook cover photo and I hope this was helpful thanks so much for watching today